Now let's come to the to topic types of plants. As you see children, all the, your friends are not like you. They are different. So we are usually inhibiting this world differently. There are different people, different types of people living in different regions. You, you just see your friends. They are of different size. Their length is different. Their weight is different. They are so different from you. Just like that, plants are also not the same. They are also different from each other. We can categorize them under five heads. Now let's come to the types of plants. First type. First type which is a very common type that is known as tree. They are very big plants with the woody stem living for very long, long years. They are known as trees. These trees, here you can see the brown portion. This is the stem. And here in the trees, we don't call them stem. We call them trunk. And they live for many years. Now, second is, you see here, shrubs. They are basically bushy plants, much smaller than the trees. They live for many years but not as long as the trees they live for three to four years they have thick brown stems but not as woody as trees and they are bushy plants an example which you all must be knowing or you must have seen in your home it is rose i think all of you must love rose and you all like rose so just see this Rose, it is an example of shrub. Cotton, you wear cotton cloths. From where do you get cotton? We get cotton from these cotton plants. So this is also an example of shrub. So children, what is shrub? Shrub are smaller plants living for four to five years with a bit thick steps. Now, comes herbs you must have seen herbs this is very very common now tulsi it has got many medicinal properties and i think most of the houses must have got this plant this is called herb herbs lives for few seasons only and they are very very small spinach you know it's a good source of iron it's very good for your blood so you should always and try to eat this either soup you drink the soup of spinach or you eat in a vegetable form so spinach is a herb and mint usually you find it in the summer season it's very good for your stomach so mint tulsi spinach are some of the examples of the herbs so herbs are very small plants living for only one or two seasons now come to climbers this is the most common plant which you must have seen especially this money plant as the name suggests climbers means they will have what very weak stems they can't stand upright by themselves so they need a support either stick or some other plant or a wall they can't stand by their own. So they take the help of their support and climb on their support. That's why they are known as climbers. Now, the most common example is pea, which you all enjoy eating during the winter season. Now, money plant. Most of the houses have this kind of plant. Now, grapevine. Now, you must have heard the story of grapes and the fox. So this is grapes. Now, if anyone will ask what type of a fruit grapes is, you can say that it is a, that tree is a climber tree. Because they can't stand upright by their own. Their stems are weak. So, they take the support of the stick, wall or any other plant to stand. Now, comes creepers. Now, you can see the size of the fruit. Will they able to stand upright with this type of big fruits like watermelon, 
pumpkin so as the name suggest their stem is so weak that they can't even stand by taking the support so they spread on the ground and you know the logic behind spreading on the ground is that just see the size if they will take the support and climb like this will they be able to hold this a big size of fruit they won't be able to hold children that's why they spread on the ground and they have much weaker stem than climbers the stem is much much weaker than climbers so they spread on the ground and as they creep or spread on the ground so they are known as creepers i hope everything is clear under the heading parts of plant functions of the different parts of the plant and types of plant now children just see this video if you have any problem you can ask me and just enjoy this video take it in a fun way and learn it it's very good and we will again meet with another topic thank you